What do you think the biggest fear is to us here in the United States? No, it's not forgetting your password to Netflix. It's definitely not late waking up late to go to work. The greatest fear is actually something that we really can't control. And it has to do with China. I want to address what this is because the United States does not control China, nor does China control the United States. Or do they? Well, let's talk about that. Because right now, China and the United States, we don't have a great relationship at the moment. Actually, tensions are very high. Now, we obviously have seen the reports I've talked about a little bit here on the channel, where China has, uh, you know, been, uh, you know, th th we, were, we were told that there was a, a balloon that went over the United States. And it was just a civilian balloon. But according to the United States and the Pentagon, they're saying that there was surveillance equipment on board. That's troublesome. But it's not the end. We've obviously had tensions with China for some time. Obviously, what's going on in Taiwan is a big issue. Nancy Pelosi didn't make that any better about a year ago or less than a year ago, actually. And then what is happening more recently is we got reports just recently that Chinese President Xi Jinping will be visiting Moscow in the coming months. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. Now, obviously, this alone is somewhat worrisome, but what makes it even worse is what Russian President Vladimir Putin had to say. He had this to say, and I quote, We know Xi Jinping has a domestic uh, political agenda to attend to, but we assume that once the issues on the agenda are dealt with, we will proceed with our plans for personal meetings, which will give additional impetus to our relations. That's what he said. And then we heard from the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, and he warned China of this. And China responded that the U.S. is in no position to tell China what to do. That is the U.S. that is sending weapons to Ukraine not China. But here's the worry. Will China decide to aid Russia in their war with Ukraine? Some believe China is on the verge of doing so at the moment. And according to the Pentagon, they had this to say today. And I quote, there will certainly be consequences for China should they deepen their relationship with Russia. We haven't seen them give legal, we haven't seen them give lethal aid to Russia at this time for the war. But they also haven't taken that off the table. That is what the Pentagon says. Now, even NATO jumped in and NATO said this. Chinese assistance would amount to providing direct support to a blatant violation of international law. And of course, as a member of the UN Security Council, China should not in any way support violation of the UN Charter or international law. Now, Things are only starting to ramp up. And as things ramp up between the United States, Russia, and China, and we can throw Ukraine in there, things are only going to get worse. And what happens when things get worse? Well, let's talk about what this could mean. What we know is that right now, the, the you know, trade between the US and China is still very good. But what if the US decides to sanction China? What would they do? What would we do, right? Now, I don't think this is gonna happen. I don't know how far the US would go, but what if it went as far as blocking US purchases from China? What would we do? That's the big concern. And this is one of the greatest worries that the US has is what do we do? Just think about it. Just think about what would, what would happen if we couldn't buy products from China? Right? Think about this. What if we couldn't buy, we would just think about what you purchased recently, right? Have you purchased clothes? I guarantee in some way, some of it has come from China. Did you purchase medicine? I guarantee because the United States, uh, we actually bring in about ni over 90% of our APIs are coming from China. These are the ingredients that go into the medicine. They're coming from China. Yeah. That's what is so worrisome. Have you bought any electronics lately? Guarantee something in there is coming from China. What about parts to a car? Do you buy anything? 
Did you get a new, uh, you know, a new part to your car recently? If so, chances are it came from China. This is the worry. And all these things, again, are likely coming from China. But here's the problem that we are facing is what does the United States do? What is the recourse? Because when Russia decided to invade Ukraine, the United States slapped Russia with sanctions, right? We are, and we're still in this, but we actually at this point can only buy uh, oil, you know, certain countries can only buy oil at a certain price from Russia or below. Guess what? Russia found a way around this. And Russia decided that well, they're going to sell their oil to other countries. Other countries will buy it at a at a you know decent price, and then those countries will sell it to us in the U.S. and to other countries. You, you see why this could potentially be a problem. Now the tensions between the U.S. and China are not great, but here's the worry: is that there will certainly be consequences. That is what the Pentagon says. If China decides to send weapons, send munition to uh, Russia, in this war between Russia and Ukraine, the Pentagon says there will certainly be consequences. But what are those consequences? That is what we don't know. And that is what some are saying is the greatest fear to the U.S. is how far would the U.S. have to go to actually hurt China? Well, some say it would be very far. And remember this, President Biden said back when, you, when Russia invaded Ukraine, that what we are going to see is that the United States is going to feel some of the pain. We are going to feel the pain because we knew that diving in and providing support to Ukraine and sanctions against Russia was going to create a lot of uh, hurt, instability, and it has. We know oil prices shot through the roof. They went to over $5 on average here in the United States. This was back in like June. That's a problem. But think about this. What if we decide to stop buying just all goods from China? You know how much a, a single cup would be if we had to buy it from, let's say, Mexico or another you know, uh, country in South America? It would be a lot more. Do you know what it would cost to buy car parts or to get the right car parts or to get something manufactured correctly? It would cost a lot more. And what about things that we could make here in the United States? Guess what? prices are going to go through the roof. So if you thought that the biggest fear was, you know, just being able to order, uh, get, get something from Uber Eats and have it correct every single time you order. Well, that's not the biggest fear. The biggest fear is what are we going to do if we cannot get our products and our goods from China because China has decided to aid Russia in this war with Ukraine? Well, we're going to find out because that is what many experts are telling us, is that China is going to help Russia in some way, and as they do, it's gonna come down to how far is the United States willing to go to go and hurt China for aiding Russia in this effort. So, as soon as we get more information on that, I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, just wanna thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.